How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So we're here today with the Expand Season Three, Episode Three Reaction. And it's been a while um, since last one. I think last one I recorded like a week and a half ago. <laughs> uh, so usually, like, yeah, I've got this like nice little rhythm. Um, but it, it's for me a week and a half. Yeah. Say that to me a year ago, and I would have called it crazy. But nowadays, a week and a half feels like a long time. Uh, but I hope you're having a fantastic day, ladies and gentlemen. So we're here today with episode three or season three. Uh, last one was called IFF. I'm, I haven't actually looked at the title for this one. Um, but last one we ended off with, obviously IFF identify friend or foe um, as Alex Lechisto. So I was, gonna, I, was gonna, I was thinking of a word that rhymes with uh, Alex, let us know, uh, so, um, go, ha, ha, but no, um, but no, yeah, but, um, last, last, that was basically what we had in the last episode, um, and obviously it ended off with the two of the three biggest groups that we had previously, um, again, the groups have now split off into multiple, multiple groups, you know, but like, two of like the, the three biggest groups that we've had since like season one, um, kind of have merged now, um, obviously with the third party, you guys couldn't hear that, I think my neighbor just left, that's why, like, the gate is, like, super loud, I, I felt like somebody just broke into my door or something, but now it's just my neighbor, um, I think they're driving off to work or something, so I could hear the gate open, uh, so that they could drive off, um, but yeah, uh, with basically like, two of the main groups meeting, um, the Earth, I guess that's what I'm saying. Like the Earth, the Earth group obviously split up into multiple groups, but like the Earth part and the Martian part, obviously they already merged, and now we have uh, the merge team already. I don't know what 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 what, what did the fandom call them? Team Bobby, uh, Planetary Alliance, because they're both different. I, I don't know. All right, and now they've obviously all met up with. Well, I guess the Planetary Alliance, because they're all from different walks of life as well in there. So, we have we, we just have a lot of, you know, with the Pinus Contorta, we have a lot of, like, people meet up now. Uh, again, I don't think Avasarala is dead, though. She was heavily, she's obviously heavily wounded, um, needing assistance at the end. But I don't think we'd have the whole sequence for her to die um, just like that. Again, I could be completely wrong, you know, so who knows. Um, besides that, is there anything else? I mean, obviously, on Earth, we had a lot of things going on. Um... But with, with oh boy, but a lot of, of it isn't that like. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't played the piano in a long time. You can probably tell there's like stuff on it. Or you, I don't know what we can tell or not. But uh, isn't like well, a lot of off. Um, first of all, a very famous pianist, and second of all, uh, like his versions of pieces are like the hardest pieces out there, from what I remember. For example, like his Turkish march is like you know four voices at the same time, that kind of thing. I might be completely wrong here though, but yeah, um, we, we had her be there uh, um, giving some guidance some counselling as well as obviously writing speeches and we'll see obviously how that all goes down, you know, um, Salavia, he's obviously masterminding everything on any other side of the universe with the person, you know, that he's kind of in leagues with, with Mao, um, Mao had like a split second, he was like, no, what? Maybe we are away of our budget. And he's like, no, 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 no. Actually, no, what? Screw that. He's like a second of weakness. And he's like, no, screw that weakness. <laughs> I don't care about that weakness. So we had that going on, uh, which was very interesting. If you can probably tell my voice is a little bit. Uh, my throat. Uh, no, I don't have a virus. All right. No, you know, the, the coronavirus. I know there's a bunch of people in Manchester that have actually been diagnosed with it. Um, but I don't think flu. Just the just general flu is a symptom of it. I know a fr the, you know a lack of breath and whatnot is, but the flu isn't. And I've had the flu for like the last three days, which is why it hasn't been a video. Um, and well, I can't say that outright because I did a little bit of something else, but um, that, that's yeah, that's fine. that's the primary reason why there hasn't been a video. Um, which why well, this will be a bit late for those of you guys watching on Patreon, like two days late, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's about everything for this episode. So, as always, we'll be watching this on um, Amazon. Uh, there is, is a storm going on outside. Damn. My window isn't open. My, my window is never open, all right? So, I, I shouldn't be able to hear all these things, but I do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop right in with Season 3, Episode 3, A Short Destruction. What? <coughs> What better of a title could yet? A sure destruction, eh? Anyway, folks, let's hop right in. 
just making sure that we're recording. Yes, we are five minutes in. That's a long intro. I give long intros, I guess. I give long endings too. They didn't steal the ship. Who defaced the Martian flag on the bulkhead? Oh, that's what she. I updated it. You think that's funny? Maybe not now. Ah, oh, we got. We have. We have two awesome people. You got everything you need off your ship. I need to charge my armor. Too no, confrontational. What's going on? You gonna need my armor to take the ship? Be interesting to find out. Not for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think saving your lives earned us an explanation. A Martian Marine with the Deputy Secretary of Earth on Julie Mao's ship with the UN trying to kill them. Yep. Start with that. I can't tell you it's classified. We target practice in that thing. It's defense. Yeah, well. The comms are locked out. We'll There's no fix way your comms. After that, we don't owe you anything. Yep, 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 yep. No more humor. <laughs> uh, well, no more like the, like the video game series called No More Heroes. I love that. You but no more heroes. Pretend this war isn't happening. If they don't use the ship, then you should take it and go. Go to Tycho. Do what you have to do. Damn. <laughs> it's so funny how quickly he always changes his personality. At one point, he was like, uh, we, we gotta hunt the thing down and destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. And I was like, ah, I don't care about the world that much. Let's find your daughter. Spontaneously destroy them all before launch. Okay. Preemptive strike. Yes. Okay. It would have to be perfect. And if you fail. And it's not Mars with retaliation. Yeah, exactly. If you fail. With justification, millions of lives would be at risk. He is so war hungry. You, do this, you can see it in his eyes. Because it will end the war. Find the other platforms. I'll give you my decision then. Ah. Ah. <laughs> just. It's just a big. Ah. <laughs> That's all it is. That's really all it is. It's just a big ah. The way this uh, uh, okay, we're back here. The way this guy is like done what he's done and gotten away with it, uh, and is now climbing the seat of the she highest is just insane. Influencing the seat of the highest. Electrical still not fixed. Repatching decks to interest. That's a terrible ship then. <laughs> That's a terrible ship then. <laughs> if the electricity is not really working. You're in the future. There's a reason we don't put these old girls out to pasture. Until I get there. That's an order. Transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Uh huh. Uh, you can say that we're the only ones survived. Tell you tell them the nothing ship. or you tell them the truth. I wasn't trying to help them. Or, <laughs> or whatever you want me to say. What do, what do you want me to say? Calm hey, down. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> You're not screwed. That's the f that sorry for you. I'm really sorry. Okay, obviously that's to get his story straight, but I don't know what his story is. So I I'm costly and patiently awaiting what that it keeps mouth being secret I guess but I don't know ah it's his daughter as well why is that oh, ah, the image is his daughter as well stop it proud to be of service ma'am you wanted to see me, ma'am? Welcome. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. James Holden. Maybe I should. I spoke to your mother, by the way. Chaos has a way of finding you. The other things. But at least I can get to thank you in person for everything you did. You and your ah, he's got, you're going to like. Ah, I was about to say, you're going to like no. spark that hero complex in him. and Julie were the heroes. Have you been watching the news? Diplomacy's over. I need to send a tight beam to Admiral Souther and the Agatha King. Any tight beam would give away our position, and we already took that risk rescuing you. We're not doing it again. 
Yeah, he's not that. Whatever happened to the man? Who yeah, he's not. He's not got that hero complex anymore. He stopped fighting battles he knew he couldn't win. This isn't just about the war. We need to contain the proto molecule. Make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. <sighs> You think that's funny? Nah, yeah, that's what us he's been trying to do the whole time. Just that I've heard it before. <laughs> Everyone, including me. Yeah. Like, uh, like the way they're currently talking is like you'd expect them to have had a like a massive, massive loss, like where like half the crew died or something. And I know Miller died, but like, like ID was confirmed. still. Kotier Ghazi, former you know what I'm Ant, currently assigned to Deputy Undersecretary Abbasarallo security detail. All right. Now, what's your story, mate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, he was always, he's always been war hungry, all right? Um, Admiral Sutter. Fleet Admiral Wynn. All you Navy boys sure know how to roll out the red card. But I don't know whether he's part of Salvia's crew. I don't, I don't think so. He's been protecting Jules Pierre Mao all along. He can tell you everything you want to know. Let's try it. Get some rest. So I had that though. <laughs> so I had that though. And he obviously he, he's. I want to say buddy, buddy, but I think that's, that might be going a bit too far. But he's like, These are some buddy, ishy. The parts about with Alessandro, ish. People facing the unknown are fairly solid. So you know precisely how many lives a leader must sacrifice. And still be a good man? Yes. What? As few as <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I mean, I got it. Uh, from speaking from. Well, never mind. I forget what I was going to say. I was going to say, speaking from personal ex Well, actually, I'm saying that anyway. Speaking from personal experience, I'm the kind of first that would do whatever it takes, right? <laughs> no. There you are. Told you to stop running off. He's gonna see his daughter Sorry, in her, I feel like. This planet. Eighty two percent is not good enough. Stand down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Slowly your strings. This is ridiculous. I just want to talk to you. You're gonna one. walk around the ship, you have to wear the boots. I told you we want the same things. Maybe now you'll believe me. Hey, I, 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 in that situation I'd be like, yo. If Mars, Earth, and the Belter have it, I want some as well. Okay. Bit too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it's too much. He's gonna be fine. I mean, they're not gonna kill off children, are they? They're not doing that. This, this show has been killing people, but not children. She got off the yacht with the Martian Marine. I don't know what happened after that. Can you prove any of this? No. She can. But Aaron Wright sent a message admitting everything, and Avasarala has it. You gotta get out of there quick. Hopefully, he's already gone. Look, look, look at the stern face, the super stern. Man, this war was built on a lie. Are you gonna do something about it? Is there like a cupboard in here? I've gotta go. Is there like a cupboard in here that you can hide in? Ah, oh, he's out. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Find that guard. I want to talk to. That is a cool One shot, but. One is gonna fail or something. Four is away. Five is not gonna work. Yeah. I'm just checking, sir. Checking, coming. What the fuck is going on? Thank you. We have a confirmed launch from Target Five. They got one off before we hit them. Dead or not? Ground Zero is Glass Mayor. 
Total population in the blast zone, approximately two million. What happened with the rail guns? It was a power cycling malfunction. I'm charging up and standing down earlier, sir. Ah! Watchtowers have detected no other launches. <laughs> a little bit speechless. I'm honestly a little bit speechless here. Orders. I'm sorry I had to say that. Stop. Sir. Project? Stop what you're doing to the children. Doing is hard. We have to be strong. And great men are uh, strong. You're That's stepping a bit over it. your... It's not up for debate. Yeah. The experiment is over. Shut it down. You're talking to your boss here. <laughs> they managed to do it. Humanize him. I... Ah, with that look as well, like, yeah. Oh. You're here alone. It's your... Make her feel guilt. He's going to need you now more than ever. This guy knows how to play the game. And it actually annoys me that nobody else is realizing how good he is at playing the game. There's like two... Oh. That's, of course, the end of the episode. There's like two or three people in this show that are good, legitimately, genuinely, um, proficiently good at playing the game. And the thing is, most of them don't realize that, you know, mo most of the other people in this show that are being played by the game, they don't realize they are being played by the game. And that's the annoying part. Like, It's just one of those situations where you're just like, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> like, like, come on, like, like, like obviously as, as like a, a viewer from like a third person perspective, I guess, you know, we're watching, we're like, oh yeah, he's playing, he's great at playing the game with those people. Um, they don't realize it, which it just makes it a little bit like a little bit frustrating, honestly. But also a little bit like, oh come on, you should be able to see through it. Like, like look at the smug look that he's giving, like the ultimate smug look at the end. He was like, ah, it didn't need to happen today, but it is what it is. You know, yeah, he's gonna need you a lot now. Yeah, he's gonna need you a lot. He's gonna need a lot of guidance. Uh, like, like, just like a, uh, like that punchable face where you're just like, oh, you, <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it, and I'm just sitting here like, you can't keep getting away with it, like, as like an old man that screams at the cloud, basically, just, yeah, just like, come on, how do you keep, if it wasn't for these meddling kids, you know, in this case, it's, if it wasn't for this meddling Salavia, it's like, yeah. He, he, he knows how to play the game. Now, on the other side of the world, obviously, um, we have his game being played as well with uh, Sova. Is it Sova or Salfa? Sova. Salfa. I say self, so, you know, Salfer. Um, sounds like Salfer. Uh, but no, Sova um, and Nagoon, um, obviously, they're both on a ship right now. He, Nagoon is in control of the ship. Um, they're going to IO to pick up the pet project, I guess. <laughs> But speaking of the pet project, Mao Jules Pierre has a heart. Um, we had a little bit of hint of that towards like the last episode. I, I felt like yeah, they're just kind of putting it there. I just feel like yeah, oh yeah, maybe he'll change, but then ultimately he was never gonna change. But it doesn't seem like yeah. He disbanded the project. Now, will that mean that everything will be cancelled and whatnot? I don't think so at all. I think what's gonna happen here is that Doctor Doctor Strickland. It's gonna like secretly give the product to Earth. Um, the remains and like all the research and all the data of the project is gonna give that to Earth, so that Earth can then develop it in house basically without Mao being in charge. That's gonna be my suggestion here. That Mao himself, you know, because uh, he saw his daughter in May, uh, is what you know, and obviously he loves and cares for his family. So that's what I think is gonna happen. Um, uh, that like Dr. Strickland will continue the project on Earth, and ultimately it will mean that like the crew, you know, they'll go to Io, they'll realize oh they're not in Io anymore, and then they'll head off to Earth, um, because all the children were taken to Earth or something, and that, you know we're gonna have them all on Earth, you know, 
pretty much escort Avasarala to Earth with Gunny as well. That's, that's basically what I think is going to happen, honestly. Um, besides that, besides that, besides that, besides that, um, the crew's interaction is pretty much exactly what I wanted it to be, exactly what I hoped it would be, and all th th thus I am actually quite happy seeing how it all going down on the ship. Honestly, um... No! My phone! That all went haywire, honestly. That all went haywire. Like, he's gonna be blaming himself a ton. Oh, he's gonna be like, ah, oh, if it wasn't for you, son of the year. I don't know, right? But he's gonna. He. He saw the look on both their faces when it, when it failed. The annoying part is, you clearly see that Salome was like, oh, shit. That, like, when he, when he first heard of, like, you know, being hit, whatnot, was in South America and whatnot. It was like, ah, oh, shoot. Um, but I immediately was able to like switch it around. He put that smug look on and was like, to, and basically told a lot of us, Anna, that, ah, oh, yeah, well, if, it were, we, you know, if we had done it earlier, then we would have been A-OK. -okay. If he hadn't doubted himself, we would have been a -okay. It's like, come on, bro. Where did you learn to be, where, I, I don't want to say the word, but where did you learn to be such a smug little flip? -er? I like it. <laughs> I like it, alright? My favourite characters are usually the ones that can just like control people. Control people's actions with mere words. Because the way I always see it is that words are power. Which, again, probably just comes because I like, re I used to, well, not this much anymore, but I used to like reading a lot of Shakespeare. Uh, where we, in, in, in that case, most of the time, words really were a power. You know, with like all the magical aspects and whatnot that you have in some of his stories. Um, but like words to me are always power. Uh, I'm the kind of person that like yeah, I much rather prefer a good dialogue than like a good physical confrontation. Um, and that's why I like seeing how he's just able to like manipulate people by just threading his strings. And it's just like yeah, the guy's good. <laughs> the guy is good. He's evil, but he's good. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that episode, though, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey everybody, if you liked this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe and if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. Until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.